Hi, this is Landon Belavia with the Wake Forest University Kim Shapiro Research Group, and I'm going to be showing a technique for freezing EPR tubes. Um, we have our sample, just some old blood syringe. You want to draw up about 400 microliters, 0.4 mils. Um, want to be careful not to use more than this amount because if, it, if the sample goes up too high in the tube, then once it goes down in the uh, in the spectrometer, the top part will start to thaw and melt and can interfere with the signal down at the bottom. So, get our sample drawn up. And I understand different uh, different groups use different techniques. We use a uh, just a simple syringe. Um, some may use a, a catheter. And for something as viscous as blood, helps to do it in a couple of. Uh, couple of injections there. You want to just inject your fluid, shake it down with a sort of a quick firm snapping of the wrist. Don't want to do it too hard or too fast or you'll break your tube, but if you don't do it firm enough then uh, you'll get the fluid that'll stay up, say some up here and give you an air bubble, and if you have that air bubble there with fluid on top that's what causes the uh, the tubes to bust the air contracts when it freezes and then when it uh, expands when it gets warm again and expands it will uh, pop your tube so then you take this and just put it in the uh, we use liquid nitrogen to freeze it some uh, you can also use the methanol on dry ice and you'll wanna put it in just a couple of millimeters till you start to hear a hiss Hopefully you're hearing that, and once you hear that, you can start slowly moving it down into the ice. If you go too fast, again, you'll uh, you'll cause it to expand in the wrong direction and expand too quickly, and uh, that can pop your tube when it hits the air also. So just go, go at a rate, I, I usually go, say, about a, maybe a millimeter a second, give or take. And then once the entire sol once the solution has been frozen, you can then put it in the rest of the way. All right. So that's how you freeze the EPR tube. Um, if you're curious about how we actually what we actually do with it once we get the sample, uh, we just take it out, put it in this little collar here, and stick this down inside the spectrometer. Right like that. Make sure it sits all the way on the bottom. Tighten it up. And then if this were a real sample, we'd have the pumps running and you wouldn't be able to hear me. And uh, we'd just set it up and, and uh, scan it with a spectrometer. So that is how we freeze an EPR sample. Hope this helps. Thanks.